guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to be learning how to levitate your picture in photoshop and for this uh, photography or for this levitation i'm looking at your two pictures right just two shots the first shot is the first shot is the guy without the background just the background you know of the shot and and the guy lying down on the stool, right? Now, so how to make this guy levitate on this night? Uh, let me just give you a brief, uh, a brief idea on how I snap this, right? I took the picture on a tripod stand, right? Everything is stable. I didn't shift the camera throughout the whole shot. So the first thing I did was I snapped the background, right? In the same position, I didn't shift the camera. Then I snap the subject in the same position. I didn't shake the camera, so I let and carry it and bring it to Photoshop. As simple as that, right? Now, how can we edit this out of the background? The first thing we have to do is we have to select the subject first. And because because of this because this is a tutorial video, I don't want to make it lengthy or long. So I have already selected the subject already. But if you want to go ahead and select the subject, you can any tool you like. Very depend to the quick selection to get anyone like, but I have already selected the subject already, so I'll just go ahead and load the selection. So I'm going to select, load, and I see it as subject. And the selection will load for me. For me, I can just max it out. Right, I have my selection out already. You can see this. Now, just the background is showing. I have to add shadow to the subject because it won't make sense. But if you check the original, the original uh, picture, right? The shadow on the right. So I have to add shadow also on that. So let's create a layer above this layer zero. Let's name this layer zero background. Then create a new layer above layer zero. Let's name this layer shadow. So just take the pen, uh, the brush tool, click the brush tool, increase it, right click, then can increase the size of the brush tool, add this, zero right. percent. Then we decide, okay, I think it's okay. Mm, a little bit, okay. So much. Yeah, okay. Okay. And go back to Z. Now let's make the foreground color black just click on x to toggle between the foreground and the background color click on x to make the background color come up as see it's already up already so just click one click on any spot and after that and click here right now select the, this one this two over the move to and click on ctrl t to transform then you can move it it shows the way that it will fit now to make it the same thing, right? You don't know to get you want to make it the same and realistic. Let me cancel this. Let me unhide the layer marks and put this above so I can see what my, the amount of shadow will make. Ctrl C. Let's adjust it so it can be the same size as the shadow. Increase it a little bit. It's okay, it's perfect. Okay, so let's take it back up and align the layer marks now. And the shadow is too much, right? It's too much. Let's reduce the intensity. Let's make it, um, I think, 45 is okay. And let's uh, separate the shadow from the brightness and the darkness so that the the one that is brighter, the grass that is brighter will reflect on the shadow. And double click on the shadow layer. Right. And take take out the this the white areas, this black and white areas, the underlying layers. Just move it outside. And stop at the point where you begin to see the white spot. Stop there. Then click on Alt to separate it. So it's kind of smooth. So it's kind of the shadow can be realistic. Okay, let me increase the shadow a little bit. I feel it's small. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, 
things that is perfect. Right? Ah. The, the work is done already. You can just go ahead and connect to JPEG or PNG. You can put it on any, any platform. But now, you can also go ahead to fine tune the overall image by adding color balance, deep saturation, curves. And also, like, any add curves first. Curve. So, make the bright areas brighter and the dark areas darker. I feel it's dark now. Okay. Perfect. And let's go to color balance. Let's make let's let's make red five. Let's make red ten. Let's make magenta minus five. Let's make blue ten. Let's make shadow ten. Make this one minus five. Make here ten. Right. Highlights. Let me make highlight minus five. Five. Let me make it a little bit four. Make our corner and decrease your opacity. Let's make it seventy percent. And we are fine tuning the overall image. Now you can go ahead and add other things that are work for now. I think I'll stop here. My own. Now this is how to make your picture levitate in Photoshop. Very easy. First of all, take the shot in the same position by a steady and stable tripod stand, right? And the lighting should be even so it will not affect your picture. Then bring the Photoshop, then move the subject, right? On the background and add shadow and do some other stuff. Fine tune it. The sky is your limit, right? This Photoshop, you can do so many things to it. You can go ahead and add particles, any other thing you want to but I decided to stop here. So thank you for watching the video. I want to see you next time. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And also comment below also what video I should make next or any suggestion or opinion concerning this current video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.